Our next guest says the Fed won't be as quick, uh, won't be as quick to uh, uh, as investors to declare victory. Excuse me on inflation. Kevin Gordon, Charles Schwab, senior investment strategist, is with me now. You know what the first question I want to ask you is because you've been cautious for a while since we've been having these conversations. What it, what it's like to be cautious like you've been in the face of the market, which goes up in your face almost every day and looks like it wants to keep going that way. Well, well, what's the, the psyche around that? The caution has lessened as breadth has started to improve. So over the past couple of months, I think June was a pretty important turning point, if it holds, where you start to get more of a widening out in breadth. I know the last time we talked about this, I had sort of mentioned a checklist that you kind of need to start seeing and checking boxes off of to determine whether it's a healthier bull or a durable bull market. And you started to see that in June. So number of new highs for number of new 52 week highs for the S&P into double digit territory in a percentage basis you can start to see that hasn't yet made its way to the Nasdaq or the Russell 2000 but participation's getting a little bit better there so i think the caution can come down as that breadth improves and that's what you look for when you get 9 months off of a major market low i think that's really the what you have to pay attention to but you you, you don't you still don't sound like you're fully on board with this bull market. I mean, let, let, let's just call it what it is. Yeah, oh yeah, more so, I would say more so on board over the past month because because of the participation, because of the broadening out. And you think, and I think now you probably need to see more of the confirmation from an earnings perspective, um, and hopefully you get a better trajectory in Q2 like you did in Q1, probably still gonna end up down unless you get some miraculous move higher. But I think part of the reason that the market did well in the first half was because it sort of correctly looked at this improvement in the earnings trajectory over the next 12 months. So if that holds, then I think you probably have more room for this to run. And especially as some of the air gets taken out of the top heaviness part of the market, and then you get more participation under the surface. That's what we've been looking for, and it's, it's starting to happen. You think the bear case has played out or not? Depends on, I think, which part of the market you talk about. Um, but I think the bear case for the economy, probably not as much so, because data, at least in the near term, has looked better. Probably not recessionary. But our view has been, you know, you push out the recession, so-called the NBER declared recession, further into the future, it's probably a worst case for the market as you go further into the future. Better now, because you can have rallies when the you know, yield curve is inverted. You can have rallies when you're in a, you know, a deeper earnings recession. Um, so I, I wouldn't use that specifically just to say that the market's going to do poorly. I feel like you know, you're in some respects uh, representative of a number of people who've been cautious, who look like they're looking for the towel to throw it in. Throwing the towel on being negative. Is that fair? I think, uh, well, from a broader investor perspective, you started to see it threatened. And you were just talking about sentiment in the, at the open of the show. I think that's an important thing to watch for as you get a lot more people now kind of piling in. We had it on the attitudinal side of sentiment. Now it's starting to happen on the behavioral side where flows are actually starting to move back into equities, really embracing a more risk on message. Is that good or bad? I, you know, in and of itself, not bad. Sets you up for more vulnerability in the face of a negative catalyst. So to the extent you get something earnings or Fed related, um, then yeah, maybe. Um, that just sets you up for vulnerabilities. By the way, it works on the downside too. So back in October, and we've talked about this, when you have conditions and sentiment that are as dour as they were, um, that sets you up for, bread, you know, a, a bit of a bounce um, and a strong bounce in the case of October, especially in the cap weighted S&P. So I think it works in both directions, mm -hmm. but frothy sentiment in and of itself is not going to be the thing that you should use to just turn automatically bearish. On Do, the does the Fed burst our bubble at the, at the next meeting? Because, I mean, it's not like we think they're going to go at the next meeting. The market doesn't even seem to care. And, and, and I guess the market doesn't doesn't think that they'll go again. But even if they do, uh, this doesn't look like a market that's much upset about anything. You mean go again after July? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think, well, you know, the Fed, for all the, you know, flack they get, I think they do a pretty good job at kind of guiding the market to where they're going to go meeting by meeting now. That's how it's working. So I think July is probably baked in, barring some major surprise between now and then. But for I sure. also don't think, for you know, sure. from this financial conditions perspective, them trying to really put financial conditions, you know, back down. I don't think that the market-based financial conditions indexes, and Powell has alluded to this most recently, um, I don't think that's what they're specifically looking at. They're looking at broader metrics, whether it's, you know, percentage of banks that are tightening standards, whether it's, you know, access to credit on a small business level. They're taking a broader view. Um, I don't think they're just looking at the stock market and saying, oh, because equities are higher, we have to bring it down. Barring some, you know, major resurgence in inflation, mm -hmm. um, which thankfully it looks like we're on the downward trajectory in a firm. What